Okay, what we have here today is a HVAC heat up blend door actuator, or it could be a temperature control act, uh, actuator or module, or whatever you want to call it. What happens is, um, the way it's supposed to be set is these dashes right here should be, be between that line and that line. And um, I'm going to show you how to move it. This one does not move, but I'm going to just uh, do a dry run anyway just to show you, give you an idea. It did work, but it only went in one direction. But if you ever have a problem and you need to reset it for some reason, you pull it out, and it does happen to go in both directions, then your actuator is okay. But you have to make sure that this dash right here is in between that line and that line. That line. So that's how you reset it. I guess you could put it right smack in the middle, too. It's not a bad idea. Anyway, so I'm going to use a 9-volt battery. So we have a positive. And the positive goes on the far right pin. Let's get it all the way down there. Make sure you don't touch the ones to the right or to the left. Let me just turn it around this way. I don't like the way it's popping. All right, it's staying. Good. Good pin. Anyway, so um, the third one will make it go in one direction. And I think it will make it go over to the uh, left counterclockwise. And when I did that, it pegged. Well, it might be both of them, too. I don't know which one it was. I forgot exactly. Sorry about that. Anyway, but you're not going to burn on anything just as long as you don't touch the uh, the positive on the far right. So the third pin will make it go in one direction, and if you touch both pins, it will make it go in the other direction. And in my case, it was just going in one direction, and it pegged out over here. And it did not want to go back the other direction, so I know this module is shot. That's about it with this test. And uh, it's as simple as that. Good luck. I hope this video helps and uh, get your heating, cooling, or blend door stuff going. And the reason why I did this, just a uh, side note, is I just wanted to make sure that it wasn't the um, control module that's actually in the dash with all the knobs and the fan and all that good stuff that um, it was sending, you know, that maybe it wasn't sending a signal to this module and that it was that, that actual unit by itself because I could get the unit itself for like... 20 bucks from the junkyard, but I'm definitely going to just um, go with this for now, since it's, since it's probably definitely it. I hope it is, because I heard these things are very, very common. But it's a quick test, and it um, alleviates uh, some of the issues that you might have and saves some time in the long run. Anyway, so have a good one. Thank you for watching.